Hi, I'm ready. Damson here, and welcome back to Factorio. And I'm joined by Tim. Hey. So, in last episode, towards the end of last episode, we decided, oh yeah, we'll just go and clear all the biters, and we did the biters down here, and we've decided that Tim was a little bit busy creating engines for the train and the little car, which... The good thing is, we can both use the car, so if I need a lift back up, he can take me up there. Mm -hmm. So, we've got the pump jacks and everything in place, we just... Train stops, walls, all that lot. We just haven't wired it up yet, because... We need to go. And... I'm actually gonna hop in the train. I'm interested, let me try something. Yeah, can you get in the train too? No. No? Okay. Um, because I want to pull the train back up top. Because I need to see, uh, need to see what the offload is, as well as the fuel. Oh, man. That... I could have just... That, that, that slows down like a speeding train. Hmm. I could have just um, used the car, but I've left the car down the bottom. Where exactly does that stop? Where does it tell me? It when it goes into manual, it'll do it itself. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to figure out double. Yeah, you double click. No. Nope. So it knows it's there now. Okay. Yeah. Because I think the nose stops right at the thing. Hmm. Alright, so, um, because we're going to need some onloading for fuel, then we need offloading uh, for that. Oh, just um, a I don't know well. exactly where everything's going to be here. I'm just going to throw a tank down somewhere here. Um, well, we need the pumps anyways. The offloading will be wherever the pumps are, I guess. Well, the pumps are actually going to go on the tank side for the offloading. Mm. Um, and you can have multiple pumps for that. Um, so now that I'm thinking about that, I might want to actually do something like that. And then I need... So the pump is actually going to be on... I'm just going to... Alright, so if I move the train out of here a minute... What is that station showing? Is it double, double yellow? Not doing anything? Yeah. yeah, it's double yellow. What about now? Okay, well I can see the outline when I hover over it, so back up. Back up. Slow. A little further, a little further. A little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, stop. Okay, so that would. I'm guessing that. Actually, go. No, I get. No, that would be know. the unload, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, that's good there. Yeah. Because if, cause if I hover over the thing, I can see you're lined up with the outline boxes. <clears throat> so that should be good there, I think. Um, yeah, the awkward on that, but whatever. The flashy light is just to indicate that the train's in. Yeah. So, the pipes, well, let's see, hold on, how does this work? Now, I guess, because we, we do need a, it does seem you would need a pump on the train you, side. Yeah, you'd need a pump on the train side. Yeah, okay. Well, I was reading something, and it seemed to seemed like an indicator on the other side, but it seems like you would obviously need one here, and, um, yeah, okay, so that lines up with that one, and then that would go off. Yeah. That, you, that way. Um, you, okay, yeah, that'll work. So, let's see, I need some more pipes. Okay, and then we need... Well, is there not, is there not a entrance and exit on the storage tank, or is there only one input on a storage tank? can't remember. Well, you've got kind of double input on okay. this corner and, dub, and stuff on this corner. So I don't know what is input and, like, what's output exactly. But I, I think it depends on, 
I think the main thing is it, it depends on your pumps. Like your pump determines the directionality mm. because the pump has got the little arrow on it. Yeah. Yeah. So there is no inherent directionality to the connectors on the tank. No. Um. Okay. So, uh, what is this? How far can I go with this? Not that far. Okay. So we'll do this, and I want another one of those. Okay. So we're just gonna do this. Okay. And this is not gonna line up. I'll have to move the. Well, you have to move the, you have to move the tank. Move the tank. That's fine. We'll do this. Okay, and then the somebody's tank been down. busy upsetting Greta Thornburg. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you and your deforestation. Uh, yeah. Well, I, just, I mean, I made a path. I know. You know. I mean, it's not like it's not like I destroyed everything. I just I made a road. Yeah. I know. You know, I mean, you gotta gotta break some eggs to to make a road. Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. Yep. Or a road. So, um, okay, so we need coal coming down here. Yeah. Uh, so um, that's gonna be that's gonna be a whole thing. Mm, so, um. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get my car. Okay. I'm gonna make a radar. Unless you've made a radar. No, I have not made one. Okay, I'm gonna radar then. Uh, what do I need? Train. 25.7.5. I know I've not been doing any research, but I was just letting things back up again, like it has done. Yeah, that's fine. Because even though. It's weird because the machine doesn't, even though the machine only, they, all, they only hold four each, they don't seem to stack, if you know what I mean. They don't, they're weird yeah. when they stack. Oh, I've taken too many plates. Ow. Ow. I, I might have drove into a wall. <laughs> well, you know where the repair kits are. It could be worse. Ow. <laughs> it gets better and better. Oh. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, I've got the radar. Maybe. Okay, good. Um, research. I might as well do some modules because we can actually get efficiency in modules and stuff like that. Go ahead. Okay, that was the opposite of what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's do the thing that I wanted to do, which was this. Doink. Okay. Did you just pick up some items and put it in there? Yes, you did. I forgot you could do that. Did I what now? Yeah, you picked up coal and put it in the back of the boot. It was already in there. I put that in there earlier. Yeah, okay. Hey! There you go. Yeah, if I we have our belts. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, where and why am I going? What am I doing? Are you going back down towards the train? Um, no, I remember what I was doing. I uh, actually, I'm just gonna back up a little bit here. Okay, I've got a radar. Ooh. All right. Uh, if you want to go, if you want to take the vehicle and go down there, that's fine. Um, I, I need actually... to reroute this um, this coal. I need a whole bunch of belts. Yeah, it's stuff. weird because it's a bit like Astronia. You, I, you got out, and I actually couldn't control it. Whereas in Astroneer, I know we could. Huh. 
Cause I was so you had to uh, hop out I, and back in again? Yeah, because I was in the back. Uh, at least you don't get the, um, mm. the, like, load, or the save game lag. Like, every time you hop in and out of a vehicle, my game would, would momentarily hiccup because it was doing, it was saving the game. In Astronia. Yeah. Where's the train? Oh, okay. Trains down the other spot. Oh, mm -hmm. Ow. This hasn't got the best turn circle. Maybe I should have made the gate a little bit wider. Yeah, that's why I crashed into a wall. <laughs> so yeah, the I... so the gates the gates either need to be wider or we need a separate gate for vehicles. <clears throat> yeah. Or something? I don't know. Um Oh we just need to learn how to drive these things. <laughs> no. Learning new things, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Now I need to repair that wall and the car. So I'm thinking of putting I don't know, if I'd have made two radars, I'd have could put could have put the radars in each of each corner, but that would just increase the power. So I'm gonna put the radar in the bottom left. Okay. I still wish this thing had a horn. But it doesn't have a horn. Oh yeah, there's no horn on that thing? No. That's, that's despicable. I need my big ship, spaceship horn from Astroneer. Bob. Oh, I had so much fun with that thing. Bob. Uh, wait, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. In your house. Playing video games. That's what you think. <laughs> I mean, well, you're right, but... <laughs> I have a friend oh. who loves horror movies and it gets really annoying. Yeah, I, I I hate horror movies. I don't hate them. I'm just not a real big fan of... It's more horror games that I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, I hear ya. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the horror genre in general, but to me, like any movie, it depends on the... Um, the quality of the story like th there's plenty of movies i've watched and really enjoyed that are under the category of horror yeah. but um to me it's like stuff that deals with like jump scares and actively like trying to mm. like scare you you know like because horror of course you know is horrific right yeah. so if we're dealing with something horrific like the movie saw okay nice. i can deal with that if we're dealing with like weird supernatural children like jumping out and making creepy noises eh, I can deal with that less so um yeah I my, my imagination is just a real jerk yeah, but what, when it I'm, comes to like supernatural stuff yeah but what would you class what would you class like the uh, like the village and stuff like that have you ever seen the village movies yeah, I like the village. And the village is... What would you class that as, then? Well... Probably... It, that's more of a thriller than a horror movie. See, that's part of the reason why that movie didn't do well. Is because it was marketed as a horror film. It and was, people were man. expecting a horror film. Mm. The village is not a horror film in the traditional thought process of what a horror movie is. And, um, so that, yeah, that movie got really kind of slammed because of that. Hmm. Um, you know, because of course, being marketed as a horror movie, all the horror buffs show up and they're like, this movie sucks. Like, it's not scary. And it's like, no, it's not really that scary. Sorry. 
I mean, what would you call Silence of the Lambs then? Uh, drama thriller. Yeah. It's a classic. Absolutely. Well, you can all, yeah, you can also call it that. Well, it is a classic. Yeah, it is a classic. I mean, you. The Hannibal. So, I mean, it is a horror movie, but there's like horror is a nebulous term. Yeah. You yeah. know, because like there's been some movies that I've watched that I've really enjoyed, and it was only after I watched it that I learned that it was labeled as a horror, and I was like, really? I know, but well, the Nightmare on Elm Street is definitely classed as a horror. Well, yeah, that's that's more stereotypical horror film. I believe stuff. It, yeah, but it, it, it's Freddy Krueger. I mean, I mean, it's it's um. I can't remember his name now. Ugh. Robert. Robert England. I mean, yeah, he. You'd never get a better Freddy than him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like fair enough, Michael Myers, Halloween's been played by that many different actors. Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't you don't hear him speak anyways. Nope. Nope. I mean Mal Malcolm McDowell was in one of the Halloweens. So uh, I mean he just needs the uh the Shatner mask and you're good to go. <laughs> Uh, um, did you ever watch um, Shutter Island? What? Shutter Island. Shutter Island. Yeah. Was was that the one with um, Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. And the, yeah, I saw that. And the uh, I don't remember much of anything about it, but I did see that. I think he's in a. He's in a, an asylum. I have to choose my words very carefully. Um, yeah, he's in an asylum. And he basically, he's going... The, the role that he's playing out in his head, he's going back to his old days where he's a cop and everything. Mm -hmm. But as he's playing out this role, he's actually doing it properly, if you know what I mean. In his, like, not just in his head. He's actually physically playing the role. Mm -hmm. But they've been secretly giving him his medicine and stuff. Like, through the cigarettes and the pills that the, the doctor gives him. Right. Obviously, it's the, the medication that... <sighs> it's... It was a weird, really was a weird story when I watched it. I like I said, I. I yeah, I remember it. being a weird movie. I just don't. Yeah, I don't really re remember much about what happened in that film or what it was really even about. I just can't remember the dot because the you would probably if I told you like the name. Emily Mortimer, you probably know her if I'd like, obviously, if I said certain films, you would probably know her. Maybe. Uh, let's have a quick look. What would you know? She obviously she was in Shutter Island. She's she was in like Thirty Rock for three episodes. Um, don't know if you've ever seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. She played Phoebe. She was in. No idea. She was in Pink Panther with what's his face, Steve. Martin. 
Mm-hmm. The one that, if it, yeah, you know, Fifty First State. You know the girl, the the woman in that, that's his girlfriend, or whatever. Yeah, that's her, at Shutter Island. Well, in Fifty First States, it was. Um... I mean, are you talking about the main cat, the girl with the memory issues? What, in the 51st day? Yeah. Uh... So, because that's, um... Drew Barrymore. <coughs> that's 51st date. 51st state. State? 51st state? Hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm not familiar. I am not familiar with that movie. Have you never seen Fifty First Date? With Samuel no, Jack Samuel Jackson, Robert Carlyle. And Meatloaf's in that one. And oh no, Mate Boy I read, No, I don't think so. Mate Boy I Red Dwarf's in it as well. An American master chemist plans to score big on a once in a lifetime de- uh Deal. All does not go to plan. He's soon entangled in a web of deceit. He basically heads to England to spell his to sell his new formula. Um. It's interesting. It's a good. Yeah, because he get he's in. It's all done in like Liverpool. But yeah, she isn't that. I mean. Sort of going back to, yeah, uh, basically the synopsis for Shutter Island was in 1954, up and coming US Marshal Teddy Daniels is assigned to investigate a disappearance of a patient from Boston Shutter Island Ashcliffe Hospital. He's been pushing for an assignment on the island for personal reasons, but before long he thinks he's been brought there as part of a twisted plot by hospital doctors whose radical treatments range from unethical to illegal to downright sinister. Teddy's shrewd investigating skills soon provide a promising lead, but the hospital refuses him access to the records he suspects would break the case wide open. As a hurricane cuts off communication with the mainland, more dangerous criminals escape in the confusion and the puzzling Improbable clues multiply. Teddy begins to doubt everything. His memory, his partner, even his own sanity. Hmm. It's weird, Shot Island. It's great. It's a good... It's a good film. Because... Yeah, because I didn't realise that Chuck, his partner in it, is Mark Ruffalo. Now, obviously, you've seen Avengers, I take it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's he's Bruce Banner in Avengers. Yeah. But, for the person that doesn't like the Avengers in this, which is me, yes, I'll probably get a lot of flack for that, but I don't give a shit. He was Dylan Rhodes out of uh, Now You See Me Too. And then now you see me. Mm -hmm. Um, And I didn't realise he was Chuck in Shutter Island. I never realised that. And then, you know, going back to it, now I think about it. Yeah. So I've done some modules, speed modules, productivity modules, and all that lot to go into the machines if you need them. Okay. Um, why did I come back up here? There was a reason I come back up here and I forgot why I've come up here now. Oh, I need the repair kit. Um. <laughs> Have you seen the Now You See Me films? Are they the big ones? Are they the big, uh... 
power poles. Really? Yeah, big electric poles. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I figured going over a longer distance. Uh, um. No, I just wondered if you'd seen, obviously, if you'd seen the films. No, I don't think I have. With, is it Jesse? Oh, come on. It's supposed to be a bloody film geek. I think it's Jesse, is it Jesse Eisenberg? I know, um, Woody Harrelson's in them. Yeah, I, that I see. Um, and Morgan Freeman. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Jesse Eisenberg. I was right. Yeah. Oh, Daniel Radcliffe was in that one as well. And uh, Michael Caine again. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that. The, the four, they call themselves the Four Horsemen. Mm hmm. Or the Five Horsemen, or whatever the hell it is. The Four Horsemen, sorry. Yeah. And if you've ever seen the, f it sort of continues a little bit from the from the first movie. Um, God's sake! So I've ran all this way and didn't pick up the repair kits. Good job. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this thing steers really weirdly. Yeah. It's like a yeah, li I... it's like linear steering. Yep. Yeah, it's kinda like like two D games from the nineties yeah. steering. Okay, there's your modules done. I might get you a stack yeah, inserter, yeah. actually. You'll need one of them eventually. Where did that go? Oh, it's still working on it. Um, I mean, do... Ooh. These are big. That's what she said. Um... So, because what do we need? We need, um, yeah, there we go. So the oil refinery makes the petroleum gas, which is what we need. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and what does that need? We need crude oil. Which understandably spits out some pollution. Okay, <clears throat> so we have those, theme. and then what is what do we do here? So I guess do we need like another pump. Pump, pump. I'll be down now. Um, I didn't pick up the repair kits, did I? No, asshole. There we go. All right, watch the telegraph poles. Telegraph poles? Electricity poles. Telegraph poles or telephone poles. Telegraph? Wow. Like, what century did you slip into? <laughs> yeah, I tried to put the... the belts and the poles on the side there, so we still have a good... Yeah. ...drive path. Do you do right? So you got any pipes? Got any underground pipes and pipes and pipes? And... Maybe. Where are you? Are you down here with the oil thing, or are you? No, I was, yeah, I was right around the corner here. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have an underground pipe. So we can have a little bit of a walking space. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to move this over a little bit. Um, so, because I need to make, because um, I'm gonna need some pumps, I assume. 
to go from the tank to the refinery? No, shouldn't do. No? No, you should be just underground connect a pipe to the output. So it'll pull It should pull from the if I remember right, it should pull from the edge of that tank. And you would then obviously you'd need a bit to walk through. So we're not blocking anything. Yeah. Um stuff down on my bar here. Uh, what else we got? I need to... Uh, I don't know if we those. made the extra solar panels. Okay, so... Actually, did the car heal itself? Or did you repair the car? I might have re repaired the car. Oh, okay. That sounds like something I might have done. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, okay, so it's gonna have to go over a little bit like that. Okay, a little bit like that, and like that. Right. It's not gonna work. Just need to craft out some more pipes. All right, and then that can go like that. Maybe that's double. And... In, that's double input. Yeah, and then. Okay, and then we'll have another. Well, the double input. The double input is only for two separate materials. Okay, so we only need... Oh, okay, so for stuff that... Oh, okay, that makes... Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like satisfactory. I got it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Alright, so I need another one of those. And then we go... Oh, wait, I need to move this first. Uh, this will go like that. Yeah, because cool. it because the basic oil processing recipe is crude oil. It only needs one input each. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's other like the sulfuric acid and stuff needs more. Yeah, and then it only does ha it only has one output, but it has two inputs. If that makes sense. As weird as this thing's modeled. Yeah, because there's like three three mm. output caps on this. Yeah, but there's only actually one output. So I guess it depends on the recipe, because there might yeah, yeah, be yeah, some it does. have multiple outputs. Probably, if I can remember uh, rightly. So it looks like I'm connected to the wrong input then. Because looking at the arrow, it looks like it wants it down. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so let me, um, let me fix that. Hmm. Uh, I need more pipe. Okay. Just gonna have a bunch more pipe. Okay. So that goes like that. So that'll go in there, and then we have an output. Now this is all the same stuff. Yeah. So, can I just do this and run this straight up to a tank? I think so, in theory. Did you got them so did you have did you make more solar panels? Oh, uh yeah, I got four on me. How many did we need? Uh five. Okay, I'm making up another one. I got the materials to do it. Okay. Well then if you want so, um, and then um Tank. If you want to chop me, then I'm not gonna. All right. Thank you very much. Please. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? this is um. What button is it? Q. X. X. Is it X right. or Z? I, got... I think it's Z. There's one on. I picked one up there. Have you got your cursor down? Um. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's the Z. There you go. There's more. Okay, and then we'll go okay. like that. Okay, so this is uh, not the prettiest thing, but got some water there. Okay, so this will be our uh, petroleum gas output 
here. So this gives us this will give us something anyway. That was close. What? I said that was close. What did you do? Well, I backed up and nearly hit summit on the coal line. I need to... I'll bring the car back in there. Okay, so I get you guys powered up. So I think the train is ready to run. Almost. Almost? Yeah. What's wrong with the train? Did you break the train? No, I didn't break the train. I broke a tree. God, tiniest little tap with this thing. Kind of reminds me of another game. One tiniest little tap and it screws you over. Oh wait, that's snow on it. Yeah, like I say, running over. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh. Oh. Who's got control? You do. I'm not pressing anything. Wow. What the hell happened there? I got lag. Do you want to get in? Yeah, I got a bit of lag. Hmm. It goes quite quick. Let's watch a tree. Alright. So... How we... Uh, what we do? Are we just sort of. Well, you usually do a row two and then a space, right? And then another. What are you doing? So. What are you about like that? Okay, you can. I was just going to say continue the pattern that was already there, but this works too. Let's... I'm just thinking because you obviously... We have expansion space on either side if we need it. Yeah. But then we have an area... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Down the middle... To walk, and that because these, these cover six, you don't... They cover six at a time. The mediums cover six. Oh yeah, in the middle, yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. So we should have enough um, power to connect this up. Uh, do we want to connect this up? Here you can do. So if I... Right, I've got the radar. Radar should be now going. Oh, of course. The radar's not gonna go yet. If it, nothing's gonna work. It's we, nighttime. <laughs> we need daytime. Daytime. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do it that way. It kind of came out that way. Was it? It reminds me of that bloody program. Walk on the wild side. <clears throat> do you remember that? Walk, walk on the wild side. Yeah. There was a bird. It's like a, it's like animal voice by people type thing. And there's a bird, like a big bird that hides yes. behind yes. its wing. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it was called, but yes, that that, that is what I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Walk on the wild side. Uh, yeah, the bird with the wing over it. <laughs> yeah. Nighttime. 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 <laughs> Nighttime. <laughs> I haven't seen. Oh God, I haven't seen that clip in ages. <laughs> Uh, and then there's the one where it's Alan, 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 yeah. Alan. 
the gopher. Alan! Alan! Oh, wait, that's no. not Alan. Steve, 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 Steve! Uh... Alright, so... The reason why I was waiting... Okay, so you've got... We got crude oil coming into the tank. Yeah. And... I've got electricity there. Alright, let me... Um... Let me... Crap. Don't, pre don't press that button. Don't press that button. Oh, ho, ho. Right, let me just back the train off a minute. This is an unusual train. Right. Okay, so the pump has crude oil in it. Okay. So the pump is pumping from the tank. It's fine. So if I <coughs> do this, is that now loading yep. in? Yeah. Yeah, it's because it has to be an automatic to load in. So we need to kind of, that is going to wait, oh, I better not wait till 25k, because I got it to do full inventory. All right, I'm going up the other at the top. If you want to change the inventory setting, you can do, but I wouldn't be stood anywhere near the... I wouldn't be... No, I'm not worried about it. I mean, I'll let it fill up, I guess. Um, because, I mean, we're not going to be taking that much off of it. So, like, once it's full, I mean, it'll just... Fly up here. Yeah, I'm just interested to see how it was on... what the unloading process would work, if it... If we've got it set properly, which we should have it set properly. I mean, the pump is saying that it's going to take 200 crude oil. The pipes are only going to take 100 crude oil. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the buffer on it. Is the uh... the tanks are only 25k? So, because it'll pump up to like 1200. Hmm. Per second or something, but we, we're not producing anywhere near that amount. So at the moment, so okay. So you've got a fast inserter in there. It tells me where the train is. The train is down the bottom. Twenty zero two five five. Am I actually changing the colour down there? Mm hmm. I'm not down there anymore. Ah. Um. Well, I, I can see it on the map. Uh, colour. Twenty zero two five five. There we go. Yeah. Because we got the radar down there, we can actually zoom in there on the map. Mm. The, map. Um, the train station thing should have changed to a purple. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't know why. You're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing. Yeah, going to rename these stops too at some point. Yeah, we're going to. Ooh, hello. <laughs> what have you? Huh? Uh, take a look at the big map. Uh, south of the oil. Oh, crap. Oh, God. We've got a lot of tree. We haven't got many trees in between us. And that. Yeah, there's practically, like, none. Have we got the thing yet? Have we got the rail wagon? We ain't got the weapon wagon either, have we? <coughs> nope. Go and got cargo wagons. 
All right, we're up to eighteen thousand on the fluid wagon. Okay. So, but more than likely, it's probably gonna get get to nighttime before. Um, Yeah, we shut down. I lost visibility. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about the pollution now as well. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But we only got the two running there. I mean, they are polluters, but um, we just have to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. So, probably going to need some turrets or something. <sighs> Isn't it? Well, even if we hand feed it for now, you know, like make up a bunch and just like, you know, have them feed. Right. I mean, later on, I mean, we can bring. What do I need for gun turret? 2010. So I need 50, 40. Okay, so I need 40 of them and 10 of them. Oof. Is it quick mode of transport, is this? Yeah, it is good. That's why I want to make one, because I figured, you know. We're starting to get to locations where uh, it's been it's beneficial to have it. So let's see. Good and turrets. Well, I made up two. I made up two. Now, do gun turrets need? No, they don't need power. Do they need power? It doesn't say it consumes electricity, so I'm guessing no. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. No, shouldn't do. No, it's more, no. The, it's, more yeah. the, it's more the electric turrets and all that crap. It's more like the laser turrets and everything that consume your power. Yeah, it's more your uh, other turrets. Okay, well, we can do that, and then, um... Pick it like on. Hmm, that's cool. Um, that is also cool. So we got, uh, a lot of the basic ammo. Yeah. And a lot of the piercing ammo, too. Well, what's the damage on the piercing ammo? Piercing ammo is uh, 8 plus 1.6 physical. Whereas the basic ammo is 5 plus 1 physical. So the piercing does 3 additional points of damage. Yeah. Just take some I'll take some piercing and then I'll take some... I've got two gun turrets ready. There's a train bin back up here. Mm, no. Okay, I got visibility. Oh yeah, it must have been. I didn't even see it move. It's back down the south, but I'm guessing it must have filled up the... Um,
tank down there. Why is the fluid? 78.5, 79. Yeah, we've got 20k in there. We have 1.3 of uh, petroleum gas. Yeah, so it's been down. It's fine. At 1.6k petroleum gas. Now we're cooking with gas. Literally. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So what do we need? We need um. Okay. So that is. Well, that's not bad. Okay. Because we need in order to make the sulfur. We need uh, water and petroleum gas. Yeah. Now we do have the body of water. Mm-hmm. To our uh, to our west that we can tap off of, which I think would be better than. Do you want turrets on the outside, or do you want them behind the wall? I don't know. Can they function behind the wall? I cannot remember. I know the other ones. I know the laser turrets. Um, let me find out. So, gun turret. Surprised if you know me as well as you do, you know how much I like and love Efteling, you would know what attraction from Efteling that was from. One that triggers my friend complete my friend Joel. He absolutely gets on his nerves, triggers him. It's funny as hell because we wind him up with it. Okay, so yeah, uh, gun turrets and laser turrets can shoot over walls and anything else. Good. Just gives them a bit more protection. Indeed. So I might, I don't know where to put them. What are you reckoning? Do you reckon... Sort of just next to each other, or one square up from each other, two squares up from each other. Cause it's all yeah, it's, I mean, space about a little bit. Yeah, well, the bite is as soon as the bite gets within the circle, it will shoot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I suppose you can put them next to each other. The problem is, is they only take 200 rounds at a time. If I could, we got any uh, trees left around here? I like the sound of the pump jacks. I didn't even notice. Yeah, they sound old and creaky. Um. Who crashed into the wall? Right, the wagon's back on like 15k. Uh, yeah, we still got uh, quite a bit of, uh, in the tank. So we're not um, not really running through it all that quickly at the moment. So 
Um, Won't be on the track. <laughs> That's interesting. You can actually track it when you're actually on the locomotive itself. Hmm. Let's get rid of that one. Just did that empty fully. I'm hoping so. Like might not have done if that thing was full. Here it comes. I must have done because it's only got three point seven. Still with me over there? Yep. So I'll make two of these up. Slap one there, slap one there. And then in that one put not my grenades. Slap that in there. Put my bloody grenades in again. What's up with grenades? Uh, I keep putting my grenades in the storage chest that I've got down here for ammo. Right. Have we got any engines and got any engines and stuff left over? Uh, maybe. Um, up near. That's cool that I can see that. Yeah, we got twelve. Oh, okay. Um, there's engines up near, like in between the red and green science and the military science. Okay. There's um, an assembly machine. There's a chest there with twelve. Okay. Tw twelve engines. No, I just wanted to see if we had any engines left because it might be worth. doing a little bit of a this is where it's going to get annoying because it consumes like 3 and 2 kilowatts and that's going to be really annoying because I wanted, I wanted to try and do an alert system but that's not going to happen because it gets really all sorts of complicated at times. So, what do I need? 8, <coughs> 20, 5, 14. It's too many, but it'll do. Right, where's the steel? I still wish it was a bit like a bit like satisfactory where it just picks so many items up off a belt. If you, right. know, what, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's come in here. Alright, so I do that. Alright, I'm just setting up the water pipeline. Yeah. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to get it under the wall. You might be able to. Seems like I should be able to. Using the underground. Yeah. Okay, so the weapon control can be done either by driver or passenger. If we had ammunition in, this bite and this little biter problem would be no problem. Because you can set it, you can control it as a driver as well. Yep. We have ammunition. We'd have a bloody good defense against them. I don't know how well the vehicle is, to be honest with you, because I mean it's basically the same as a submachine gun. Hmm. And harder to maneuver than yourself. Well, yeah, I suppose. Um... Yeah, because I thought of that too, but. So, but we also have grenades on our person that I don't think we can use with the vehicle, so. No. So yeah, it does appear I can go underneath the uh, the wall. Ah, oh, that's all right. Why did you park your car? In high regard. Um, right over there. I mean, drove right next to it. Ah, oh, okay. You have to go under the track, anyways. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, so the train. Right. So I'm actually going to pull the water. God damn it! Careful. Oh shit! Ah, that was fast. <laughs> Holy shit! That scared the absolute crap out of me because it just... <laughs> no. Yeah, it startled me, but I wasn't in a vehicle no. at the time, so I'm sure it was a bigger... I was stood right next to my vehicle, repairing my vehicle at the time. A good thing you weren't on the track. <laughs> yeah, I know, because we need some warning system. Well, we just need to stay off the track. Is 
Is that train going here? No. No, it's still offloading. So we make, uh, what is that? That's in the chemical plant. Where we make sulfur. Okay, train's off. It's fun. No, I didn't mean to do that. What do I do mine on productivity one? Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's where we do... Okay, so we get sulfur... Sulfuric acid. So yeah, in order to do the... In order to make batteries, we need sulfuric acid. Mm. We make those in the chemical thing as well. So we can make sulfuric acid, solid fuel, plastic, sulfur, batteries, and explosives. Yeah. So, first things first, I suppose, would be, um, yeah, we're going to need Batteries. sulfur sulfur and plastic, because there's a couple things that have started cropping up that want plastic. Yeah. 